So welcome back everyone, Mike here. I have been selling firewood for probably 25 years, something like that. It's just kind of like extra money. Uh, you know, it goes into my gun budget, just fun money. You know, we don't really rely on it. Uh, but don't get me wrong, when we first got married, you know, we were young, we didn't have any money and had kids early and selling firewood paid for a lot of Christmases early on. I'm very grateful for that. Back then I kind of did it because I needed to. Now I just do it because I want to and I love cutting firewood. I don't know why. I mean, I don't sell a lot, maybe 10, 15 cords a year, something like that. Uh, it's mostly just to the neighbors and friends and word of mouth. I never advertise or anything like that. But each and every year, it's the same old story. I run out of wood probably, you know, middle of September, 1st of October at the latest. And that's without even, you know, reaching out to anybody. That's just people coming to me. So I've been thinking, you know, I got all this equipment. I got 100 acres of woods out there. So I think I'm really going to hit it hard this year. Uh, now this firewood that I'm going to be cutting and splitting over the next couple months, it's not for this winter. It'll be for next winter. Uh, but we probably have, if I had to guess, you know, we got 100 acres of woods here. There's probably 100 and 150 cords of firewood out there just in dead trees that are standing or may have just blown down. I mean, it's everywhere. Uh, here in western Pennsylvania, you know, it just grows like crazy. And you have just trees die, fall over, things like that. And that doesn't even include, you know, areas that I'd like to maybe clear and open things up a little bit. I love the woods, but probably 95, 98% of what we have is all woods. So uh, there's a few areas that I'd like to clear. So with that being said, I started thinking, you know what, I'm actually going to start kind of like a real firewood business. And, uh, you know, working in the evenings and the weekends and through the winter and that. And we'll see how things go. But I think I'll sell wood maybe three different ways. Uh, the first way will be just like bulk firewood. And what I will do, and I hate doing this, I would never liked doing this before. All winter long, I'll just split and make one big pile right here on the ground. I always hate throwing firewood right on the ground, but hear me out. Then I'll get a uh, like a skeleton bucket for the RK55, something like that. And next spring, I'll buy a nice dump trailer. And so that will be just like bulk firewood. Then I'll also stack a lot of firewood, kind of like the premium stuff. Uh, a lot of people around here burn wood uh, just in outdoor fire pits, things like that. Some people heat their houses. Some people just need a little bit for campfires. And besides like the bulk firewood, I also want to get some of those like metal baskets on pallets, you know, things like that. And uh, I may even sell some firewood bundles, but we'll see how it all goes. So the goal over the next couple months is this. I'm going to get as much firewood in here to the yard so this winter I can just split and split and split. And who knows? I don't know where this will go, but uh, I kind of like to, if I'm going to do something, I'm going to do it. You know what I mean? So I think I'm going to maybe try to turn this into something. We'll see. And then after a year or two, who knows, maybe I'll get a processor. Uh, in this area around here, there's firewood poles everywhere. There's a lot of oil and gas going on, pipeline work, and there's saw logs and firewood poles pretty much everywhere. And you can get them relatively reasonable, maybe five, $600 a load for a triaxle load. So we'll see how it goes, but uh, that's the plan. I'm gonna hit it pretty hard and who knows what this will turn into. At the beginning of this video, you saw I was using the log ox. Uh, I've used that a couple times so far. That is going to be one of the prizes in uh, Woodstack 2018. Check that video out, share it with your friends. Uh, but they sent that one to me and they're going to provide another one for one of the prizes in the Woodstacking competition. I've only used it a couple times so far, 
but it is a very well built tool. After I use it a little bit more, get familiarized with all its capabilities and everything, I will do a review on the Log Ox. But so far, so good. It's a, a really, really well built tool and I think it'll come in pretty handy, but you'll be seeing a lot more of that. Now I know sometimes I kind of handle the firewood too much, but what I like to do is get rounds cut, you know, everything out of the woods and right down here to the yard ready to split. And the reason is this, I work a full-time job, you know, it gets dark earlier this time of year, and uh, I like to have the firewood here in the yard so when the weather is bad, I can just split, 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 and uh, that's why I don't waste my time. When I can get back in the woods, all I want to do is get the wood out of the woods back here to the yard. And so on bad days, snowy days, things like that, I can just split firewood. If I had to describe my perfect day, this is another reason I want to do this. Uh, it would go something like this. Uh, January day, maybe 20 degrees. Uh, that's Fahrenheit for you Canadians. Uh, like 20 degrees, a little bit of snow on the ground. You know, you got your Carhartts on, just a t-shirt and maybe a flannel shirt. And you're not cold because you're working. Spend about four or five hours with a chainsaw, log splitter, tractor, and uh, you know you get a bunch of wood split up and you sit back and look at it and it's just that instant kind of gratification, sense of accomplishment I guess you could say, that I did that. And then when you're done, you know, you're starting to get cold a little bit and you go in the house, you have a big bowl of chili and you take a nap on the couch for about an hour. That would be my perfect day and I'm serious. I don't know why I enjoy doing it so much. Some people think I'm crazy. I just love cutting wood. So I figured we got all these trees, uh, I enjoy doing it, and there's a little bit of opportunity to make maybe some more money than what I normally do. So we're going to hit it real hard. Uh, right now it's almost the middle of September, so over the next couple months, uh, whenever the time allows and the weather allows, I'm going to get as much firewood here in the yard as I can. So I hope you don't mind firewood videos, because late fall, most of the winter, there's going to be a lot of firewood cutting and splitting going on here. I kind of like to get maybe 50 full cords cut and split by springtime. So that's it, only about 49 and a half more cords to go. We'll see how it goes. I have all the wood, I got all the equipment, it's just up to me now, so we'll see how it goes. But anyway, like I always say, if you enjoy these videos, please hit the like button, click subscribe, and share them with your friends. Thanks.